The drinking water supply in the United States is by most definitions safe. It doesn't mean that it can't be improved, but it's safe. I drink tap water uh, at the house. I don't use any special kind of filtration or things like that because it's not necessary. Having said that, it doesn't mean that we don't know of issues like lead. And in particular, if your community has high lead levels or if your house does, this is no joke and it's something that needs to be taken care of. Um, let me just start so we're all on the safe page, and that is that there is no such thing as a safe level of lead. Lead's bad for you. If it turns out that the lead in your house is lower than the action level that was determined first some decades ago in terms of regulatory agencies, it doesn't mean that it's safe. What it means is it's safer than a high lead level and the action levels that were determined by the regulatory agencies were to cream off the crop, to cream off the top of the most risky houses or areas being served by water. So remember, no safe level of water, of lead in water. Now, historically what we've seen is a big decrease in lead levels in kids in the United States and in adults too, but also in kids. And so that's mostly due to uh, things like removing uh, lead from gasoline and also from paint. It doesn't mean that we've done necessarily as thorough a job with pipes that are built into the ground that we can't see and that lead into your house. There's a very poor understanding at the granular level, at your household level, in terms of what lead exposures you may have. And that's because even if a utility which owns the pipes in the streets does not have lead. It doesn't mean that you don't have lead going into your house from those pipes. You own those pipes. And the pipes inside your house could have lead in them as well, as could the fixtures. So we don't really have a good understanding of that because in many ways responsibility is divided between the water utility in the street and then your house because you're responsible for your house. An important part to this is an understanding that the infrastructure for water in the United States is really going down the tubes. And by that I mean it's old, it needs to be fixed. There's a lot we don't know about where there are problems. There are some utilities that are more on top of this than others. Um, but the infrastructure issues that we see with highways, airports, uh, telecoms, all this kind of stuff, it's the same thing, except if anything, the infrastructure for water delivery is worse off because it's buried in the ground and nobody wants to deal with it, right? And when you go to a particular town, you know, the cops, the fire, the school, that kind of stuff is an immediate need. Eh, the pipes in the ground will wait a little bit longer on that. Maybe we won't fund any infrastructure there and stuff like that. Well, this is now gathered speed and now it's a really huge problem. And so in the same way that we're concerned about infrastructure, we need to worry about that. Uh, one of the things I want to say is when it comes to infrastructure, there's a very specific issue which has arisen, which is lead exposures in schools. Now, if you really want to make your kids stupid and you really want them to have health problems, why don't you make sure that they get offered water with lead at school? That's really, from a, from a societal point of view, about as stupid as you can get. And so there's a lot that you'll read about school-based lead exposures, and I hope you pay a lot of attention, and I hope that all of you who have kids at school are going to be looking into this yourself and finding out what you can about this. There are many schools that are 50, 60, 70 years old, old, old infrastructure, and what are those bubblers? They may have lead leading into them. So this is something which is a hot issue, and I think it's a totally appropriate issue. Having said all of that, from my point of view, this is a massive story of political failure of leadership. This is not a political issue. This is not a Republican, Democrat, anarchist, or socialist one. This is a public health issue. And it's a symptom of our failure to be able to unite around obvious stuff that needs to be dealt with, from my point of view. So maybe later I'll talk a little bit more about the failure of political leadership that's involved in this. 